Hey everyone, this is Blendmaster here with another Photoshop to Blender tutorial. And today I'll be showing you guys how to create fake rain inside a blender. And the purpose of this is so that you can make any scene instantly more gloomy and help create some feeling or emotion in the scene. So this is the image I'm starting off with. It's just a simple picture I made inside a blender of a flower pot with some plant growing out of it and this is what the end result will look like and keep in mind I'm just showing you how to add the rain I'm not going to show you how to create this entire scene because this effect is for any image that you have so let's get started first thing we're going to do is delete this cube in this lamp and I'm just going to change the resolution of my camera to the same resolution of the picture I'm using so that'll be 1080 by 1920 and now what I want to do is add a plane and give it a material and a cloud texture. I'll just name it clouds. And I'll show you what we're going to do with this later. So now let's just jump into our compositor. Check use nodes and backdrop. I'm just going to delete this render layer node and bring in our image. Okay. Plug that into the composite node bring up a viewer node and another quick tip for the compositor if you press a V you can actually shrink the image of the backdrop and if you press alt V it'll increase that size you can also move it around by holding alt and the middle mouse button and dragging so I thought I'd just share that with you I found that interesting and useful so first thing we want to do is make our scene darker and we'll be doing that by using a mix node and changing it from mix to multiply and I'm gonna change the value of this white color to 0.5 so that it's half as bright and instantly you can see it's starting to look a lot more gloomy and depressing and it's creating that emotion so now to create the ring I'm gonna bring in our texture by pressing shift A input texture and then we'll select our cloud texture and if we view that, you can see it's just stretched along this camera, and it's simply the texture. And what I want to do is come down here to scale, and we're going to increase the scale to 30. And you can see that it's basically squishing it on the x-axis, or y-axis, and making the clouds a lot thinner. And we can make it even thinner by decreasing this y value to 0.5 and that just stretches it out and this Z value doesn't change anything because it's two dimensional so I'll just set that to 0 and now I'm going to add a color ramp node and we're going to use this to increase our contrast so if you just drag up this black slider you can see that we're increasing our contrast and the closer it is to white the fewer streaks we have so it's up to you depending on how much rain you want in your scene you can make it with very little rain or you can have a lot of rain but I think that this is good and then you can also bring in your white slider so that it'll be a lot brighter and right in between here I'm just going to add a rotate node and rotate this by negative 20 so that it looks like it's coming in from an angle and what that does is it creates this black area in the corners so to get rid of that I'm just going to scale this up by 2 so I add distort scale or actually 1.2 should be enough nope maybe 1.5 yep that's looking good so I'm just going to move this back, select everything, move it back. And now I'll duplicate our multiply node down here. I'm going to change this to a nice blue color, like that. And then we'll duplicate it one more time, plug in our original image, and switch it to add. And then I'll bring the factor down to zero. And this is an important part. You want to make sure that our image is on top and the rain streaks are on the bottom okay so now for the magic 
If you watch, when we increase our factor, it slowly adds on the rain across our entire image. And the higher you make this factor value, the stronger the rain will appear. But I suggest keeping the factor in between 0.1 to 0.3. I find that those values make it look a lot better. The higher you get, the more fake it looks. So you can play around with those settings. I'm just going to keep it at 0.2. You can also adjust the color of the rain by changing it here. You can make it darker so it's more faint as well. And then increase the saturation slightly. Like that. Might brighten it up a little bit. Like that. And then you can also play around with the slider again to change how much rain there is or how little rain there is. So I think that's good. Now all we have to do is plug this into our composite mode, go back, and render it out. And there you have it, fake rain inside a blender. It's really simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please comment, subscribe, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.